All right, guys, we are here doing hopefully our last video for the year, the full adder. Um, this is going to be kind of a combination of some of the other stuff that we've talked about. It's really uh, another way of solving the three bit adder. So especially if you've been struggling with the three bit adder, if you feel like it is just overwhelming and a very big problem, uh, well, I agree with you. And this is another way of looking at that problem. So first off, let's go over our objective. Uh, we want to, again, know the identity of the inputs and outputs for our two-bit adder, now our full adder. Um, and then here's kind of our big thing for today. How do we connect output from one circuit to the inputs of another circuit? And that's really going to be our focus today. Can we have circuit A talk to circuit B or influence circuit B? And that's going to be uh, a real big deal. Um, and the reason we want to do that is because for computers, oftentimes it's easier to solve multiple simple problems rather than one complex problem. Um, it's often the job of the humans to make the problem simple enough or, or broken down enough for computers to then solve it more easily. And that's really what we're going to do today. We're going to take our three bit adder. We're going to take a different approach to it. Um, instead of solving one big problem, we're going to solve three small problems uh, and hopefully it'll maybe make a little bit more sense for you. And lastly, we want to be able to create a complex circuit in Circuitverse. We want to use Tinkercad logic chips to build a full adder, and we also want to use Arduino to simulate the full adder. So, let's really quickly review the 2-bit adder. Uh, it, again, it is a calculator. Um, and for this calculator, again, we are going to add one column of numbers. So here we see 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, and 1 plus 1 is 1, 0. Because remember, this is binary. Now, all of this is the half adder. Uh, but again, we're going to twist this a little bit, and we're going to do a full adder. And the way we're going to make it a full adder is we're going to introduce the concept of a carry in. Um eventually we'll we'll learn that it can be carried in from a different column of addition but for right now if you just think of it as a third input that will work really well um, as long as that third input as long as the carry in is zero uh, we're dealing with a half adder but if the problem gets changed and that carry in is a one then the numbers change a little bit, and you guys can see that. So now we're dealing with 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 0 plus 1 is 1, 0. 1 plus 1 plus 0 is 1, 0. And finally, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1, 1. So we've already identified our carry-in. We have input A. We have input B. We have our carry-out. And we have our sum. So recognize the sum is in the same column as our inputs, and our carry out moves over to the next column. And if we wanted to produce a truth table for this, we already did all the math on the previous two slides, our truth table would look like this. So now, how do we take that truth table and put it into two separate K maps? So our first K-map is going to be for the sum. And when you first look at this, you might think to yourself, oh no, I can't combine any of these ones. I'm going to have four different pieces of this equation, and this is going to be a real bummer. And normally that is true, but since there is absolutely nothing that we can circle, there are no ones that we can combine, that means that we actually get to use XOR gates. And you see that this is A, XOR B, XOR C. So you could solve that with a three input XOR gate, but since we don't have those in Tinkercad, uh, I solved it with two, two input uh, 
XOR gates. For our next one, the sum, uh, excuse me, the carry out, you guys can see, hey, there are some ones here that we can combine. Uh, and this K-map might look familiar to you if you've been paying really close attention in class. This is actually one of uh, the alarms from our printer problem. So you guys have already solved this problem. But here, that circle will be BC or AB or AC. So if we produce that as a circuit in Circuitverse, it would look a lot like uh, our top right here. We would have our three AND gates. We would have our two OR gates to combine them all together. And that totally works. What I did on the bottom is produce uh, another circuit that works. And it's slightly different. And it's different because we're using uh, an XOR gate. So you'll notice it's a little bit cleaner. We only have to use four gates instead of five gates. Um, but really where it's going to help is when we combine our two uh, circuits together, the carry out and the sum, because we always already have to use an XOR gate for the sum, uh, it's going to make wiring our carry out a little bit easier. And here's what our full... Uh, adder would look like if you wired it together in Circuitverse, where our two inputs are A and B, and C, again, you can think of it as a third input, or you can think about it as a carry. So that, in and of itself, that is our full adder. Not too much more difficult than the half adder, and I say half adder, in class we've used the term two-bit adder, same thing. So this full adder, not too much more complicated. What's nice about the full adder is we now have a way for our circuits to talk to each other. And here's what I mean. And this goes back to what I want you to understand um, about this bigger problem is it's going to be easier to solve that problem that we just did, the full adder. If we solve that twice, it's the exact same as solving the three-bit adder problem. Uh, but for me, I think it's going to be a lot easier. So here is our three-bit adder problem. Uh, but instead of dealing with it as just two two-digit numbers, and you guys remember how big the truth table gets for that and, and how complicated it can be, uh, instead, we're just going to look at it as a column. So we're going to add this first column together. And if it was 0 plus 0, it'll be 0. If it's 0 plus 1, it's 1. If it's 1 plus 0, it's 1. But that very last one can be a trick. If it's 1 plus 1, it would be the sum would be 0, and the carry would be 1. And that's what we have to, that's what we have to figure out next. Is there going to be a carry in for the second column? And the carry in for the second column is equal to the carry out for the first column. So if this is our first circuit, we don't actually have an LED for the carry out. It instead gets connected to that next circuit. And that is tricky and if I have questions from you guys it'll probably be right there um, because it's just different it's new um, but the circuit on the left is now talking to the circuit on the right uh, so instead of having that carry out on the circuit on the left we just continue it on and we plug it in where the carry in should be for the second circuit so that's what it would look like if you were wiring two full adders. Um, and that can be another project for later, and that can be really fun because then you can start connecting uh, your two full adders that you've built to another uh, classmate's two full adders that they've built, and then you have a four, uh, four columns of addition, and you can just keep going and keep going. For this project, uh, we just want to solve the 
the problem on the left. So because of that, we know that the first column of addition, the carry in, will always be zero. So since that's always zero, we can eliminate this AND gate because we know that there's going to be a zero coming into it. Um, and so back from our Boolean simplification, if we have A or zero, excuse me, A and zero, um, it's equal to zero. We can also eliminate that XOR because we know that a zero is coming into that. And we can eliminate that OR gate because we know if zero, if A or zero, uh, that'll be equal to A. So after cleaning all that up and then connecting our circuits together, here is our final circuit. Uh, and I took the time with this one to actually label uh, all of the inputs and outputs to look exactly like the problem on the left. So you guys can see we have that first column of addition, that B plus E, and that gives us our first sum. Um, but it also, right here, instead of coming to an LED, this runs in and talks to this second circuit. And you can see it gets connected here, and it also gets connected up here. So that produces our second sum and our final carry out. So we have Z, which is the sum of the first column. We have Y, which is the sum of the second column. And we have X, which is the carry out of the second column. And you'll notice that if we wire it like this, we need three XOR gates. We need three AND gates, and we need one OR gate. That means you can complete your entire build using only three chips, uh, which is going to be much simpler than the three-bit adder that we have been working on. So good luck. I assume that you'll have questions, so please ask me. Uh, please review this uh, video multiple times. Go back and uh, re-listen to it. Uh, at least twice, because I think once you see where we're headed, uh, the introduction might make a little more sense to you. Uh, but overall, here is the build in Circuitverse, and good luck.